Okay, so I'm gonna make a quick video. If you were not here yesterday or if you just need some extra help understanding how to write an orbital notation as well as the quantum number set. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with orbital notation. I'm gonna do cobalt and silicon just kind of as review. I know some of you made it here yesterday, but some of you weren't here yesterday and some of you didn't get it correct. So let's go over it. So cobalt is right here, okay? Everything that my finger touches, I need to write down. And I always start at 1s and fill them until I hit the element I'm looking for, which in this case is cobalt. So I'm gonna start at 1s, 1s, 2 is filled. So I write down 1s, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, go, so I finish off that line, go back to the beginning, drop down, hit a 2s, and it's full because I haven't hit cobalt. So I write it down. Okay, keep going, hit a 2p. Go all the way across, haven't hit cobalt yet, keep going, back to the beginning, hit a 3s. Filled, haven't hit cobalt yet, hit a 3p. And it's going to be completely filled too. So I do a 3s and a 3p. Okay, still haven't hit cobalt, so I finish out my 3p, go back to the beginning, hit a 4s, and now here is where I'm going to hit cobalt, is in 3d. So I'm going to write down 4s and 3d, and I'm, that's the subshell I'm going to stop on, is 3d. Okay, so now remember s's get one line or one box, so all my s's I can fill in with one box. P's get three, because there's three ways to, or three different types of peanut orbitals, X, Y, and Z plane. So each of the P's will have three lines that can hold two electrons each. And the T, I mean, not the T, the D block can hold um, 10 electrons total and has five orbitals. So one, two, three, four, five orbitals, okay? Now, basically they're all gonna be filled up. So you can just completely fill them until you get to the end. So I'm not gonna, fill up 3d yet because i need to go back and see how many it actually fills to but everything below my ending orbital has to be filled it says off bows rule it would fill all lower energy levels first so i'm gonna do up and down arrows remember you can make it a full arrow like that if you just prefer the way it looks i'm just honestly kind of being lazy and making it just a half arrow like that so I'll be filled. And remember, technically, the P's are filled by putting one in each orbital first and then pairing it. But being that I know it's filled, I can just, I just go up, down, up, down. Okay. Now here's where we actually have to think about it on 3D. How to know how many arrows to put in it is just you count from beginning of the D block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven over is cobalt. So it needs seven electrons in the 3D block. We always put one in each box before pairing it. So it's gonna one, two, three, four, five. We also always do up arrows first. So five, six, seven. That's all I had, because it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven over. That's how many electrons I could put in it. So this is the finished orbital notation for cobalt. Okay, let's do silicon, and then I'll go back and do the quantum sets. Okay, so silicon, is actually not as far. It's up here. There we go. Okay, so again, I start back at the front and I write on everything my finger touches until I get to silicon. So 1s filled, 2s filled, 1s, 2s. Still haven't hit silicon, so I keep going. Hit a 2p. It's going to be filled because I haven't hit silicon yet. So 2p. And then I hit a 3s filled, haven't hit silicon yet. Oh, this is the row that silicon's on, so this is when we're stopping at 3p. So I'm gonna have a 3s and a 3p. So now, now that I have it all written down, that it ends in 3p, I just add the right number of boxes. So s's always get one box, because there's only one type of orbital, only one sphere. And the p's have three different types of orbitals, x, y, and the z-plane peanut. So there we go, that should have more of a break in it, okay? Now I know, because of off bows rule, that it says everything is going to be filled, all lower energy levels will be filled first before I get to the end. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill them up. I'll show you how to, the right way to fill them like that. So putting one in each box for, but either way, it ends up being filled. And then I have to think about it at the end. So silicon is only one, two over. 
I never would pair it. So like I wouldn't ever go like this to be two. I wouldn't pair them before, um, before I had to. So this would not be right. It would end up like that. That's silicon. That's done. I had a lot of people ask me yesterday if it's okay to have an empty box. Yes, that's just, that's how many electrons a silicon has. I can always check it by counting because the arrows stand for electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And silicon is number 14, it has 14 electrons. Okay, now let's go back and do the quantum set for those two and make sure you know how to use your little quantum paper. That should be an easier place to put it. Let me fold it. So it takes up less space. Okay, there we go. Now, always start at the top and it says the principal quantum numbers, the number right first stands for the um, energy levels. So I always look at my last electron. So I'm going to go find my last electron. In cobalt's case, this was the last electron I wrote down. So the highest energy level of the last electron I wrote down is three. So my first number in my quantum set will be three. Then I go to subsidiary quantum number, and it says it stands for shape. So my last electron was in a D shape. Ds get a two. Okay. Next one says um, it's about the orientation of that shape. So which of the orbitals was it in? Remember it has P has three orbitals, D has five, F has seven, and S only has one. Okay, so this one happens to be in a D block. So there's five choices, but it's in the second orbital. So it's in the D block, it's in the second orbital. So I'm gonna write down a plus one. Like and then lastly, it says, which direction is it going, up or down, the electron of spin. So being that it was the second electron, the second electron that I put in in a pair is always down. So I'm gonna put in a negative one half. Negative one half. It's getting kind of hard to hold the phone. <laughs> and then I put that in parentheses. And there we go, that's the quantum set for cobalt. Okay, let's do, um, silicon now. All right, so again, I care about the last electron that I put. So that would be this one. That's the last electron that I put in there. So again, you start at the principal quantum number, which is the energy level. So the energy level of my last electron is a three again. Oops. Okay, and then it says to do the shape. Okay, so it ended in a P. So P gets a one. Boop. And then it says, what um, orbital is it in? So in this case, it's in the second orbital of the P block. So second one, it gets a zero. Okay. And then lastly, is it going up or down? Well, this was not a paired, so it's going up still. So it gets a plus one half, plus one half. And then I put it in parentheses. And that's how you do those two. Okay.